Salzburg has a lot of strong associations. For some people, it's where Mozart was born. For others, it's where The Sound of Music was filmed. But for Karl Lagerfeld, it has some real personal resonance, not just because Coco Chanel also had a lot to do with Salzburg, but because it awakened some real childhood memories for him. And they were on display in the collection he showed today. There is a connection between Salzburg, Chanel, and uh, the look from this area, because in a indirect way, the famous Chanel jacket is an inspiration from some Austrian looks, especially from a lift boy in the hotel of the Baron Prince in the 50s. It's a wonderful sort of style of dress to really indulge all the, the métier d'art. Yeah, for the boys, no? Normally we don't do men, but those men clothes are later remade for women, because there are a lot of women who like to be dressed like this, very severe. Huh? Hudson Koenig is your new muse then? Yes, exactly, yes, like Choupette, you know, huh? you have to take them young. I found it very modern, maybe because it was very boyish once again, and I always loved this. I really enjoyed all the smoking pans and the capes. It's so rich. I mean, what's incredible is the fit and also the details. It's the most extraordinary work. You know, you think you're seeing a sweater and then you realize that this is some amazing handmade piece. Every single garment comes from these métiers d'art. Chanel can do everything nearly nobody can else do. The feathers, you know, the people who made the feathers when Chanel bought the copy, there were 10 people in the company. Now there are over 100 because it's such a success, feathers in the world for the moment. Who was your character today? The first one, I feel like I should have been lying on a couch next to a fireplace. And the black one with the feathers and the jewels, a bit neurotic. It was a really humorous take on everything that I associate with my Austrian gear. You have the Edelweiss combined with Chanel quilting. You have the Loden cape embroidered with Lissage. It was surprising, it was fun. Taking those things that often people have made jokes of, things like Lederhosen, and making them very beautiful and look very haute couture, that's a pretty amazing thing to do. We're standing here looking out over the lake. It's a very famous scene in The Sound of Music. Is that movie in your head at all? It's not my favorite thing, you know. I'm more into the Max Reinhardt area than in, in that story. For me, it's not sophisticated enough in a way. It's cute, but cute is not my favorite word. It's interesting that it's 30 or more years now that uh, Karl Lagerfeld has been Chanel. And this is the first time he's been really inspired by his own middle European culture. He was so at home at the end of the show, he was speaking German to French editors. Sometimes collections mean more to you. This one was like that for you, wasn't it? Yes, I used to wear uh, Tyrolean clothes and Austrian clothes when I was a child. But for me, it was something I really can identify with, something I love and something I feel and something I understand. Do you have an idea of where you would like to go next with these journeys? Uh, yes, I always have an idea of going next. The minute I finish something, I have the idea for going next, sometime even before. Lucky Chanel never went into outer space because that would be quite a challenge. But I'm ready for everything, you know. <laughs> Thank you.